Hey guys, um, I just wanted to come on because I've had a couple of requests about my hair. Um, yeah, I am one of those naturals that uh, has decided to take the plunge and just not color anymore. Um, why? And mine is simple. I just got tired. <laughs> I get tired of coloring um, there's you know I don't have this wonderful oh I embrace my gray story I don't it's just I got tired um, probably the same way that I got tired of relaxing my hair not that I relaxed it I went and paid somebody money to relax it and it was expensive and so um, I had to do something so I thought well I'm not gonna do it anymore I'll just I guess I'll just slide into being natural. Um, I've always really maintained my own hair. Um, so it was an interesting journey going into becoming a natural. And um, so I really got into it and enjoyed doing the products and making the products and all that other kind of stuff. And um, it, it was it's really cool. I've enjoyed it so far. I've been natural for five years. Um, as far as gray, I have been gray now for, um, a year or I should say I have not colored for a year and uh, this is the most gray hair I've ever seen on my head and yeah it is it's it, sometimes I'm cool with it other times I'm like I can't do this so yeah there have been times when I've really been on the fence um, that's my son he's <laughs> he's just having a good time but um, so now what I've been trying to do is trying to find ways to style my hair um, really also trying to find ways to um, take care of my hair because my gray is so resistant and it's hard for it to hold the pattern that maybe the colored hair you know is used to holding so um, I have gone back to just those basic things of apple cider vinegar rinses and shea butters and now incorporating mango butter and kokum butter. Just trying to see if those things will actually work for my hair. Um, I do have issues with dryness, like I'm sure a lot of people do. So trying to tackle several different things at a time. But let me stop rambling and kind of show you what's going on with this hair of mine. So. As you can see here, um, I'm gray, you know, salt and pepper in this area. Um, little white patches here along the hairline, but I am a girl that has a halo, so <laughs> there's my white halo. And then on this side, this is my more dominant side as far as the gray so as you go in there you can kind of see more and then it becomes less and less as it comes towards you know the side um i have a mirror right here so i'm trying to <laughs> fix it back so it look crazy um and so that's basically it. I'll turn around so you can see the back of it too. So there is the back. Um, so that's just just so you guys could kind of see, get an overall look of um, my hair. Um, but yeah. No, I'm, I'm not gonna cut the color out. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm just gonna allow it to just continue to grow and and just kind of see what happens. Um, but yeah, I normally, I wash weekly and I deep condition weekly. I do a protein treatment once a month. And um, like I say, just for twist outs, I use different types of butters. But uh, that's pretty much it. And um, 
hey if you guys have any comments or anything or questions you can just leave them down in the bottom in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in about a month and then that way you guys can see um, any growth that has gone on with the hair all right thanks bye